Okay, so in the last video, I powered a relay with a PIR, passive infrared motion sensor, through a Darlington pair, uh, TIP31C transistor system. So uh, I stated in that video that I was going to use a dual op amp, an operational amplifier, a TL072CN, to see if I could make this light uh, work through the relay like I did in the other one and get better results. Now, I have interesting results. I don't think they're better, but I'll explain it a little bit and then maybe try to go in a little bit more detail. If you're interested, stick around and um, let's begin. So the uh, operational amplifier is a dual op amp. And the reason why it's called that is because it has two amplifiers. It has one right here and one right here. This pin number four goes to positive source. Pin number eight I said that backwards. Pin number 8 goes to positive source and pin 4 goes to the negative source. So positive and negative source. This is your amplifier 1 and amplifier 2. And amplifier 1 this is your output pin. This is the amplified source going to whatever you want to power. In my instance, it's the, it's the relay coil. This is your non-inverting input, pin 3. So, for instance, if you give it a positive charge, it will stay a positive charge on the output. This is the inverting input. So, if you say if you go in with plus three volts, you're going to get negative three volts when it comes out. And the same applies to this side. This is kind of poorly drawn, so just bear with me. But non-inverting input, which means if you put positive in, you're going to get positive out through pin seven. So, in the diagram below, the PIR motion sensor is a positive 3 volts. Right now it is going into the inverting input, which I'm inverting the signal, turning it into negative, because I could not get it to work going into the non-inverting input, pin 3. So as we have it now, this pin is going to plus 12 volts. This pin is going to my ground or negative 12 volts. This pin is going to one side of the coil of the relay. And then the output pin on my PIR is going into the inverting input of the first side of the operational amplifier. And then this is what has happened when I've inverted it. If I move, which I have been doing, you've heard it clicking and going off while I've been reading this, my LEDs are off. If I back away and be real still for 12 seconds, or less, it comes back on. So motion makes it go off. And it comes back on when I'm still. The funny thing is, I have it in the, the inverting input, and it's working the LEDs exactly backwards, of course. I would like them to come on with motion. When I move the output pin of the PIR to the non-inverting input of the dual op amp, I can't get anything to happen. Nothing works. It does not function. I've tried everything. I can't figure out why, and it's on both sides of the operational amplifier. Right now, this is where the pin is on the output of the PIR. When I put it on this pin, it doesn't function correctly. It doesn't function at all. The light just stays on and never goes off. And I thought this side was bad, so I moved it to this side. It's the same thing. I have to keep it on the inverting pin, and the light functions exact oppositely, exact opposite of what it should. So here's the results. There are a result. I mean, it's not a fantastic result. But there's a little TL072CN underneath the PIR and the same relay setup as before. Well, if you need something to shut off, and it could be the way this works, you know, the PIR. I, you know, you get very little information when you buy these from China. I mean, you, there's just nothing to them. I think they came with a, a pin out. I mean, it, it showed me what the three pins were for, or which one, way you hook them up. But that's it. You get no. You have to guess at how to turn this crap. So, but anyway, um, 
with a TL702, or what is it? TL072CN dual op amplifier and a, this single PIR relay from China. It'll function backwards. And I've tried two different types of the, the dual op amps. That they work they work the same. It's opposite of the way it should be. And I hope that helps you. While I was playing around with this PIR through the TL072CN dual op amplifier, I got to thinking I just hooked it to one ultraviolet LED. And as it was energizing the coil, it got me thinking, uh, and since it was doing it in reverse and the, the light was on until I moved and the light went off, I thought, well, why, why couldn't you make a child's night light, you know, per se? And see, since I was being real still, the LED lit. You could call it the, the scaredy light or something, I don't know. But when you move, then your night light goes off. Maybe a tool to help your kids lay down and go to bed. I don't know. But anyway, I just thought it was something I wanted to share. It works in reverse to the non-inverting. No, I'm sorry. It works in the inverting input. That's why it's working backwards. It's inverting the positive current and causing the PR to switch in reverse. And I don't know enough about it to tell you why. I just know it won't work when it uses the non-inverting input. But there it's on. And if I move my finger slowly over it, get close to it, it shuts it off. I don't know. I'm going to build something with it like it is. I think it's kind of neat. Happy holidays, everyone. All right, so I thought I'd step away. I'm quite a ways from it now, probably 15 feet uh, near the side of a room, and that one bright um, ultraviolet LED you're looking at in the center. And when I move my arm, and it goes out. And there it's back on. I'll take a step forward. Before I could even take a step forward, it already went out. I'll be real still. And take a step back. And there you have it.